Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. All right, everybody. I hope you guys are doing good, honey. Welcome to the second episode of the Green Tea Room. Uh, with your girl, Lovely T. I hope everybody's doing well. So I wanted to do this lunchtime chat because, boy, oh boy, my phone has been blowing up. And I was very, very shocked at the fact that this whole Kyle Massey situation has hit the news. Now, if y'all don't know, I had talked about this back in 2019 when it first came out. Because the case was just very, very kind of, it was weird. It was kind of all over the place. The mother was out here defending Kyle. His brother, Chris Massey, was defending him. And they were saying that basically the mother was lying and that, you know, if he did send any nudes, it was to the mother. And the mother was upset because Kyle wasn't trying to be with her. Now, I had said something way back then. I went back to go watch the video, and I hope y'all got to go back and kind of refresh y'all's memory. And I'm going to play a flashback because y'all know how I do, honey. I had said way back then that. Kyle don't look like he's worth a million dollars. He just doesn't look like he still has that type of income coming in. And lo and behold, that's why this woman is coming out. So let me go ahead and play y'all a snippet from the video that I did in 2019. Y'all go ahead and listen to this real quick. So what I'll say is this, okay? I'm not saying Kyle is innocent or guilty. We don't know. We'll have to see how everything plays out. But like I said on the live stream, the story sounds like complete and utter bullshit to me. And again, y'all can feel free to victim shame me. Y'all not don't give a fuck about that title whatsoever. I'm over the whole victim shaming title. When somebody is claiming to be a victim and they're claiming that their child was molested or, you know, sent dick pics and all that other stuff. Um, the last thing on my mind is trying to sue for $1.5 million. I all right. So y'all just heard that flashback. Y'all know I'm good for a good flashback, honey. Now I have my girl here, uh, Jane. She's here and she wants to speak on this as well. So Jane, say hey to the people. Feel free to unmute your microphone. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How you guys doing? Um, I too had to, and thanks T for having me on. Definitely. Um, I too had to go back and take a look at the video that you had done a few years before because I had forgotten. And my first gut reaction was like, you know, what's really going on here? Like this, first of all, all of it is inappropriate. There is no excusing this behavior. But then I saw kind of the receipts that you had put into the video and my mind still wonders um, why, like you said, why are you having this relationship? Why was this mother have allowed to have this child have a relationship with an adult like this? You hear so many stories of that happening. So what do you think that's all coming from? Do you really think that this was predatory or do you think this was, like I had said in the Discord, learned behavior? Mm. And what's really disturbing is that they met the girl and her mom at the Universal Walk in L.A. And that's a pretty popular spot in L.A. Everybody goes there, you know, on the weekends to have fun. And the girl at the time was four years old. And like I said back then, there's nothing about Kyle Massey at five foot five, okay, that screams father figure. He's, he's not a father. Where's the girl's father? How about you have her father be her father figure instead of somebody from the Disney Channel that you didn't know from a can of paint? And I think that's the thing that bothers me as adults and as parents is that when it comes to celebrities, we throw common sense all out the window. Now, Y'all know I love me some Michael Jackson. Hee hee. Okay. But as a parent, I'm sorry. My sons could not just go and go spend the night at Michael Jackson's house in his room. It, they, in no other way would that be okay. It's just because he's Michael. He has a lot of money. And granted, it came out later that he didn't touch them. But again, that was room for error. That was on Michael Jackson's. You know, that was Michael Jackson's fault for allowing that room for error to even be created because... The average person, if I was to hit you up right now and say, oh, let me um, let your daughter come spend the night. She can sleep in my bed. You're going to be like, um, no, she's not spending the night and I'm done. You, like, you know, but because it's a celebrity, it's like we throw common sense out of the window and it just doesn't make any sense that why would you have this man from Disney mentoring your four year old? He's not a producer. He's not a writer. He's not a casting agent. He's an actor. Uh -huh. 
it's a it's a it's a clear situation of where the victim becomes the predator to me allegedly i don't know and i don't want to say clear but like many people were saying in the discord like like you know there is a certain you know or about disney child or just child stars in general you know we see and hear about who was the guy that you did the story on where he tried to do that movie and everybody one of the old child stars and they just ignored him corey not corey feldman i can't no it was corey that. feldman the one that was talking about how the casting couch yeah. mm -hmm, corey feldman yeah, exactly we we know these stories i just use him as a reference you know we know these stories um and you still see parents not protecting their children so that to me is neglectful a guy exam right why would you have this four-year-old being mentored by this child former child star no i'm sorry that doesn't sound right to me now i want to go back to when you said that you feel like this is learned behavior because i see a lot of people talking about that in the chat um the whole Disney situation is just very unnerving because, again, we watch a lot of these people grow up from childhood and a lot of them have just come out to have all types of issues. Um, we see Orlando Brown is out here crazy, wilding out. Um, now it's coming out with Kyle Massey. We see things that Amanda Bynes with. Now, Amanda Bynes was with, was with Nickelodeon, but, you know, kind of the same machine. Um, Britney Spears, a thing that she's went through. Now, when you say that this is learned behavior, um, it come out that a lot of the guys who were producers and who were supposed to be quote unquote father figures to these people on Nickelodeon, like Dan Schneider, I've talked about him in the past, you know, there's that whole, um, joke, not really a joke, but you know, quote joke that Jan, that Dan Schneider is Jamie Lynn's baby's father, because it was a lot of nefarious things that went on on those sets with these children, because these parents, they drop off their kids. They feel like, oh, there's an adult that, that can keep an eye on their, their child. But you don't know what that adult's mentality is, what they're thinking about doing, what they're exposing that child to. So do you feel like maybe Kyle was exposed to this type of behavior, you know, pulling out his genitals and doing all types of freaky shit oh, on the set? Mm. You know, you so, you know scientists would use this term like is it nature versus nurture okay and so what does that mean nature mean is it something that is inherent in you um meaning that it's genetic are you predisposed to some type of mental illness that makes you behave the way that you're behaving which could rationally explain why he would expose himself okay that's you know nature nurture is are you groomed is this learned behavior? Did somebody teach you this? So that's my question. Learned behavior to me seems like the probable rationale because we know what happens with child stars, the casting couch as it were, you know, and I wouldn't be surprised. Now, me as a mom, I'm just going to take a roll at the dice. And if what it looks like, it looks like, it, I mean, it was the mom complicit and her son not being protecting her son and leaving him to the wolves and then just because he's getting the coin continue to ignore and suppress this this behavior until now you have another person who's probably also on the same vein as his mom doing the same thing to her daughter but now using her daughter as a payday it's i mean it's all a bit crazy i mean it could go any way Exactly. Now we have Trey Sean. He was saying some real, some real stuff in the chat about Dan Schneider. Trey Sean, are you there? We can hear you. How are you? Yes, yeah, we can hear you, sir. How are you doing? Like I was saying, it is kind of well known in the industry what Dan Schneider does. And there was there were some people who did podcasts who came on podcasts and explained how he does it. How he'll tell parents who's throwing casting parties, come get your kids discovered. A lot of his grooming area 12 to 18 and love some younger he'll try to he'll meet them at the pool and tell them what he wants to get cast in and a lot of them you know it's kind of known that dan schneider has a foot fetch yep he said this he's made thousands of tweets about feet and a lot of his auditions were take your shoes off and run around or talk about how much you like to be barefooted and the parents know this as a parent you can't hear that and think that that's okay the parents know this. They're selling their kids for money. Exactly. 
And I totally agree with that because people have been blasting Dan Schneider. I mean, it's been underground talk on the internet for years, but you will still have people ready to eat off their children, you know? And that's why I was talking about before that the roles have been reversed where now the parents are indebted to the child because the child is bringing home that bag. The child is taking care of the family and it's never, that should never be the dynamic because at the end of the day, you gave birth to that child. It is your job to protect that child. So this is really disturbing that this is all coming out. So I would not be surprised if this was really the environment because we see that as the environment on Nickelodeon. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Dan Schneider type person in the Disney studios as well. A lot of them move around. There was a producer and later I'm going to, I'm going to be able to later give you that name. There was a producer that worked with Nickelodeon that was charged with aggravated sexual assault of a child. Mm -hmm. And he just moved to Disney and he was a producer on The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. He just moved and they allowed that to happen. So a lot of them came on back and forth between these companies. Yeah, I had heard about him. I can't think of his name either, but I know who you're talking about because he ended up going to jail and was able to get another job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I would like to interject something mm -hmm. because, yeah, it's a lot of people running around doing crazy stuff. And yeah, there's, of course, there's Disney people <laughs> that are probably doing, doing it. Remember that expose maybe a year or so ago where they caught all the little child molesters working at Walt Disney World? Like, it's a, you know, you know, like flames attract or buzz attracted to a flame or a light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you have to put fail safes there to protect our most treasured among us, which is our children, you know what I'm saying? And for someone in the comments who made the comment to say that learned behavior sounds like an excuse, no, you misunderstand me. Scientifically and psychologically, learned behavior trauma produces trauma. It's not an excuse, it's facts. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. So I'm gonna just leave it there. Well, you heard about um, another instance of this is that. Um, what is her name? She was on iCarly. Sam from iCarly, Jeanette McCurdy, I believe. She has put out, I think, two or three tech tops and like all but just said that Dan Schneider is the reason that she's quit acting. She doesn't want anything to do with iCarly. She's basically made it saying Dan Schneider messed up my life. Mm. I approve about this. And I'm not surprised if it wouldn't be the same for Kyle Master. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nobody's excusing these weirdos and freaks. But what we're saying is that. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.